guys welcome back to my channel today is a very exciting day i am packing for my wedding me and jack leave in a couple of days for our wedding and it's time to properly pack so i get loads and loads of questions from you guys asking how i pack me and jack are really lucky with our job and we get to travel a lot so i am constantly packing unpacking and i've got it down to a fine art and i just thought i would share that with you so this is probably the most vigorous packing i'll ever do i have really kind of gone through it with a fine tooth comb to make sure that I haven't missed anything out. Now the first thing that I'm going to mention is I always write a list in my phone. I'm not going to show you that list just because it's got some stuff in it that I don't want you to see. I just do it in my notes with like the little kind of tick next to it. The first thing I have is important. Now this is stuff that's going to be in my handbag and um, which I'm going to pack as well and that is things like my passport, my purse, my phone, our rings. We've got a wedding folder that's got all the kind of important information. It's got printouts of our bookings, it's got our car hire bookings, stuff like that, our IDs, one that's got equipment so it's got all the cameras and stuff and then I have wedding stuff. Now because we are getting married abroad I am having to take quite a lot of stuff over and um, like we did all our own stationery Charlotte designed it all for us and we printed it off ourselves so I had to take all of that. I had to take stuff over for the girls, obviously my bridesmaids, I've got them some bits for the day that I can't show you that either because I know some of you will be watching. <laughs> I break the trip down into days and then I roughly plan what I'm going to wear for each day. So for example, the day that we get there is a travel day so what I've written down here is maxi dress, tight t-shirt and trainers. So I'm going to wear my t-shirt tied around my waist with my maxi dress and trainers. Comfy and also because the trainers are the heaviest I want to travel in them. And then the next day is a chill day so we've got denim shorts and a bikini, things like that. So that's how I do it and then what I do is I get it all out which I'm going to show you and then I go through it and tick off the list. So the main thing I'm going to show you are how I pack my clothes and then I'm going to go right through my toiletry bag as well because that is something that I have really fine tuned and it's perfect and I'm really happy with it and I've also like repurchased all my favourite things because it is our wedding week away so yeah let's get started. I always wear a gown when I'm packing because sometimes I need to chuck stuff on, I need to try things on uh, and this is really easy to take on and off. So what I've done is I have laid out all my clothes that I'm going to be wearing over the course of our holiday slash wedding that are not anything to do with the wedding day or the events surrounding the wedding. So this is all my clothes just for chill time. I've got a couple of nice dresses and stuff. Honestly I know for a fact I'll live in denim shorts and I've got a couple of plain t-shirts here and and we've got comfy clothes, big pants <laughs> for traveling home in. I've got my underwear, I've got different tops and things for over my bikinis. Here I have all my shoes lined up. I'm taking these, these are, none of these are my wedding shoes, but all of these I'm just taking flats. I hate wearing heels. And if I'm gonna take, like I'm definitely not taking heels for my wedding because I hate wearing them. So I have all my sandals kind of laid up here. I have some of my sunglasses. I've got a couple more pairs that I'm gonna pack just because sunglasses totally change a vibe. They change the outfit up a lot. So I'm gonna pack more sunglasses, but I've got some belts. This is a nice kind of hair accessory. I've got my big earrings. And then this is all swimwear. So I have tons of swimwear. I've got loads of white because obviously I'm a bra bitch. So I'm gonna be wearing a lot of white bikinis and stuff. But I also have just swimming suits. This is a really cute little kind of snake skin bikini and then under that I've got a black one as well so I'm taking quite a lot of swimwear but if you're going to overpack for anything it's going to be your wedding and then this bag I'm really happy with I actually just got this on ASOS yesterday and it's from Mango and it's just a really cute kind of hessian bag for by the pool. I'm pretty convinced I actually won't be really using a bag because the way that our venue works is that when everyone gets there you don't need to leave again so we're, we don't have to travel out of the venue for anything and it's actually quite everything's quite close together so I don't really think I'll be needing bags I don't have like a nice bag for my outfits or anything but whatever. All these clothes are going to go in a couple of packing cubes and then that means that when it's the wedding day everything's been kept separate do you know what I mean? So let's do that first. Whew, this is exciting. Okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my dresses and then I like to roll them up like so. And then this is my travel home outfit as well. I'm just going to pop that on top. And then I have one work outfit as well. And how amazing is that? These ones are just from Amazon, Amazon Basics. They are so great. And that is all my clothes 
for the whole week. Now I know it looks like not that much and I am probably going to rewear a lot of the stuff that I've packed because this isn't a work trip, you know, we don't have to be looking great every day. I do have enough outfits to change it up every single day but I probably will rewear like my favourite denim shorts, my favourite black maxi dress, this is actually my plain outfit so I'm keep that out just now. And then what's left is my underwear and pyjamas and all my swimming suits. So we're gonna put that in a smaller one. Where is it? So that's the big size and then here's a smaller one and I'm gonna fit all my kind of swimwear and underwear in here right now. I've changed my mind. I'm gonna put actually all my underwear in this kind of smaller little travel cube. <laughs> underwear and pyjamas and socks and things and all my swimwear. I'm taking tons of swimwear just because like around the wedding I don't know what I want to wear and I want to know what's going to like look the best for my body that day. This is how we're looking so far. So small, perfect and you can actually fit more in there if you wanted. You can really really pack these and the zips are really good on them as well. As for shoes, I might actually put them in a packing cube as well. Let's try it. Because this bag is quite flat. Let's see if I can put this bag of shoes in there. Yes. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Look at that. Perfect. And I can just lie flat. Good. Clothes are done. I'm pretty sure. I always get this fear in case I've forgotten something, but I really don't think I have. I can't have. Okay. Now, the next part is my favourite part of packing, for sure. It's toiletries and skincare and body care and all that. So, I'm going to set the camera up and show you guys exactly what I've done. The easiest way, I think, for me to do this is just to show you guys what's in my big toilet bag. And then we'll pack it away together. So, first things first, we have sunscreen. This is the Vichy Ideal Soleil SPF 30, but it also has a bit of a tan enhancer as well. I've got my NARS Monoi Oil. I left it in the box just in case it leaks, but it's brand new, so it shouldn't. This is my favourite, by the way. It smells unbelievable. Shower gel. I bought the Aesop Coriander Seed Body Cleanser. Aesop Redemption Body Scrub, the best. And then I've also got the Shiseido. Expert Sun Aging Protection Lotion, really, really good. And then for hair, Davines Oi Shampoo, so good. The Bleach London Reincarnation Mask, really, really good. The Oi Oil and a little travel size of the All-in-One Milk, both amazing. They're my favourite things for protecting my hair. We have Olaplex number three, just in case my hair feels like it's going to fall out, but it really shouldn't. And then for styling products, I'm just bringing... The IGK Beach Club in First Class, the L'Oreal El Night Hairspray, Trade Secret, it's the best. Apparently hairdressers think it's the best. And I also, can you tell that I'm worried about my hair falling out? I also have three of these little Davines masks. I think Davines has to be one of my favourite hair ranges, they're just so good. In this little bag, I also have two little alligator clips. I don't know what you call them, crocodile clips. Just if I have to do my own hair at any point. And I just put all that stuff in this big bag. It is quite a sizable bag, but it's so good. This is the Drunk Elephant one. And that is literally all my hair and body care in the one little thing, big thing, I should say. Okay, the next little bag I've got is full of medicine. What we've got here is sleeping tablets, paracetamol, Barocca, plasters, blister plasters. We also have Gaviscon, waterproof plasters. We've got some milk thistle. Apparently this is really good for stopping you getting a hangover, uh, which I definitely will have at some point over the week. Water balance tablets just to hopefully get rid of my water retention after the flight, but we'll see if they work or not. We've also got some Imodium in there. We have some wet wipes just in case there's stains. Apparently if you stain anything, the best thing to use is baby wipes. Yeah, this is just the kind of emergency bag. Next up is a bunch of weird stuff. So we have deodorant. I absolutely love the Mitchum men's deodorant. It's the best. Then we have my favorite toothpaste. This is the Marvis whitening toothpaste, a little Marvis mouthwash which I got at a hotel, but I thought it would be nice. We've got the little toothbrushes that go in between your teeth. We have dental flossers as well. We have a razor. This is just one of the Venus ones, really good. I have my nail glue that I use just in case any of my nails come off. I'm getting them done five days before the wedding because we're traveling quite early, so I really should be fine, but that's just in case. Body tape, in case I need to stick any bits to any other bits. A toothbrush head. I've obviously not got my toothbrush in here yet, but I will. I'm still using it at the moment. We have a eyebrow razor, really, really good, just for kind of tidying up any bits that you need. And I also have a nail file, just in case I get a hangnail or something. And that all goes in this little Space NK bag. I should say, 
This bag is just a super cheap one. I got um, empty bottles and empty tubs off Amazon and they came in this, but it's actually really perfect for all the medicines. Next, we have hair accessories and jewellery. So these little things are from Amazon. They are so great. You can kind of take out these little bits and make some parts bigger. So I've got all my kind of hair accessories in there. We've got loads of hair clips in here. And all you do is just close it and that's it, it keeps them all separate. And I've also got like my bobbles, hair ties, we've got the Invisi bobble ones as well, more kind of hair slides, loads of Kirby grips. We've got little invisible bobbles like the elastics for in case we want to do any braids or anything like that. And then we, here we have more hair accessories, there's some clasps in there as well, but we also have earrings, you can also put small earrings in there as well. So what I'm gonna do with these is pop them right there and then, I have my bigger earrings here. These are just loads of hoops and things. I just keep them in the little bubble wrap. So there's a few pairs of hoops in there. Got some there as well. Big, big earrings, some door knockers, and then these huge big hearts. I remember these from school. All the girls that used to bully me wore them, but now I want to wear them. And I'm just gonna put them down the side. Really good. I just got these little cases off Amazon as well. I'll put all the links to the stuff that I'm talking about down in the description bar. And then do not judge me, it's my wedding, okay? But look how many eyelashes I'm taking. I can guarantee I'm gonna wear lashes is about two days but I just do not know what ones I'm going to use for the wedding yet and I actually think I'm just going to have to decide on the day because it's too hard so I'm just going to put all the eyelashes in there as well In this little mesh bag, I have a turby towel, which is the kind of towel that you wrap your hair up in. I also have this, which is like a silk turban that you wear to bed. It keeps your hair nice and soft and it keeps your curls in as well. I have one of my favorite pillowcases from Slip. This is just a silk pillowcase. It keeps your skin nice and smooth. It stops your hair from going crazy and it's just a really nice thing for a wedding. I'm treating myself, okay? And then in this Big Daddy, now this is one of my favorite kind of bags for traveling, but I'm really struggling to find them these days. This is the Morphe kit bag. And in here, I have a bunch of random stuff, okay? GHD hair curler, GHD straighteners, a hairbrush, a back comb. We also have a pack of wipes, don't kill me. I know that wipes are bad for your skin, but just in case, okay, just in case. And then I also have here, I've not tried it before, but someone told me it was really good. This apparently is the best aloe vera gel ever. And it came with this bag around it and I'm gonna keep it in the bag in case it explodes. But that's just for our skin, in case we get a little bit sunburnt, hopefully not. Here I have some of my favorite sheet masks. So I've got the Garnier under eye patches. I absolutely love these. So I'll be using these in the lead up to the wedding. And this is my favorite sheet mask at the moment. It is so great, but you're not meant to use it more than twice a week. So I'm gonna do one more before I go and then one when I'm away. Another thing I'm definitely taking with me is my Riki. Oh, hello. Hello, Mrs. Lady. This is my Riki Riki mirror. I absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite things. So I'm going to get ready in my mirror on the morning. Now I'm going to take you through my skincare. I told you it was a lot of stuff. So the first thing I've got is the Ulla Henriksen Wonderful Cleanser. So great. This is just all my favorite stuff. I've got my Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. I have my Drunk Elephant B Hydra hydrating serum. In here I have my Glow to O Tonic from Uli Henriksen. I absolutely love putting stuff in little bottles for traveling. This is my NARS hydrating toner as well, hydrating lotion. I also have micellar water. I've got some normal cotton pads and cotton buds in here. I have my Kiehl's cannabis oil. Love that stuff. It's really good if your skin starts kind of acting up. I also have my Kiehl's ultra light UV defense SPF. I have a jade roller to be glamorous and beautiful. And in here I have little minis. These are both Ulla Henriksen. This is the vitamin C day cream and this one is the glow night cream. I also have my Ulla Henriksen banana bright eye cream. Brilliant. And I also have skin food. This is the Willida skin food and it's just so great, especially for like elbows, knees, hands, face, if your skin's getting super, super dry, if for some reason my skin really acts up, I'll do a little mask with this and it's just always so nice. And that all goes in my little cult beauty makeup bag. And that is all my skincare. And I really do like downsizing some of my stuff because then it all fits nice. All that's left is my makeup brushes and my makeup bag. So this is my makeup brushes. This is the MAC brush holder. And it holds all my makeup brushes, no problem. These are all the brushes I'm taking. They're all clean. They're all ready to go. And I'm not using them until I get there. And I will actually use these before the wedding day because I don't like super clean brushes when I'm doing my own makeup. I know that sounds really stupid, but I think when the brushes are a few days old, that's when they're the best. 
fight me if you want. And then this is my makeup bag. I've spoken about it before. Um, it's linked on my little kind of Amazon shop front thing. This is my makeup. I am not taking that much with me. I know exactly what I'm going to use on my face and I'm actually filming one last makeup tutorial before we go and it is my finito wedding makeup because I know exactly what I'm doing now. I'm going to use these in a video tomorrow and then that way I'll definitely know because I'm going to do my last makeup trial on myself. I'm also going to take these. These are the palettes I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure of it. Both Natasha and Denona. I just love them. So I'm going to put them in some bubble wrap so they get there safely. And I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm not taking any wild colours or anything. I love playing my makeup but on this occasion for the wedding I know exactly what I want my eyes to look like and it's not bright pink or bright green. So... Yeah, those are the palettes I'm going to take. Let's go and put this in the suitcase and see how we're looking. That's bloody brilliant. Look at that. So this part of the case looks fantastic. Now under here I've already packed because it's full of secrets. This is stuff the girls that you can't see. This is stationery for the wedding. This is stationery for the wedding. This is full of secrets. This is stationery for the wedding. These are so cute. Wait, I'll show you these, okay. Look, I've been saving these for so long. A gift from Charlotte Tilbury, look. Mrs. Genevieve McCann, how cool is that? So these are brushes that I want to use on my wedding day as well. This is actually one of my favorite old brushes of all time. The powder and sculpt blow up brush I used to use it all the time. So I have kept these nice just for taking away with me. In here, I just have super boring stuff. I have travel adapters. This is the little stand for my light. I have a fan there that Maybelline sent me that's perfect, so if I get too hot, I can use the fan. So that's just all kind of like gadgety bits. I'm gonna put more cables and stuff in here, I think, just um, for charging stuff. So another thing that I'm taking is an instant camera. This is the Instax Polaroid camera. So I'm taking that and loads of film for the wedding day. I also have, this is really cute, these were sent to me like ages ago as well. This is the slip silk sleep masks. So I've got Mr. Mrs. and Bridesmaid. So Cara gets that. Maid of Honor gets the, the other one. So I'm taking them obviously. I just opened this up to show you guys that I actually also have a little sewing kit in there and a thing of safety pins just in case. These were things that I read that you should always take with you on an abroad wedding. So they, that's also in there along with my travel adapters. We've got two. And that's about it. Something else I'm actually just chucking in is a little umbrella, just in case. If I have to use that, I'm gonna be really upset. And that, you guys, is one suitcase, finito, complete. In here, this part of my suitcase is full of secrets that you can't see. This is all stuff for the wedding day. Yeah, this is a secret, but look, it's not that big. It's just a little thin part of the suitcase. And for anyone wondering, how I'm traveling with my dress. This is my dress right here. <gasps> Ooh, secrets. So we have it double bagged and it's, yeah, full of secrets. So I'm actually carrying my dress to Italy on the plane. That's how that's happening. Now let's start packing this stuff. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at all that space. What the heck, so this suitcase is full, but it kind of needs to be full because none of that stuff can kind of move around. But this one's got some room in it. I might actually just put a big jacket over that just to kind of protect it a little bit more. But that is looking really, really good, I'd say. Just put all my accessories and sunglasses and belts and stuff in another packing cube. Keeps everything looking so nice and neat. For my handbag, I'm gonna use my YSL tote. I love it, I can fit so much in. This is our booklet with all our wedding stuff in it. I have my headphones, I have my passport, I have my purse, I have my little liquids bag, and in here I just have a toothbrush, toothpaste, lip balm, my perfume, my hand sanitizer, another face roller, a nice hand cream. I have my NAF cuticle pen. This is the best thing ever. I love it. And then I also have this new Riki Riki mirror. Look how cute this is. It lights up. Super bright. It's amazing. So I've got that as well, which will be really good for kind of touch-ups and stuff. And then this is my kind of essentials bag. So in here I have a charged portable charger. I'm actually going to charge another one up, so I've got two of these. I have a silk hair bobble. I have an eye mask. I have an iPhone cable, a USB-C cable, and a USB cable, the micro USB. I have an adapter. And then I also just have 
emergency teeth whitening and eye mask. This bag, I love it so much, but it's got a stain on it. I don't know where it's from and it literally is so annoying. And all of this fits in this bag, amazing. And then apart from that, I think all that's really left is like equipment and stuff. So I have some laid out that I need to pack, but Jack will probably be taking his drone and stuff. He'll want to fly it over the venue, no doubt. And we'll be taking the vlog camera. Don't think we're gonna take a laptop on this one. I think if you're allowed to leave your laptop at home on any trip, it's definitely your wedding. So we're gonna be taking the Olympus Pen. I absolutely love this camera for taking kind of more lifestyle pictures, like outfit pictures and stuff like that. This is my new film camera. Look how cute it is. It's so old. This is the Olympus Mew 2. This is a proper old school film camera that I really love that we're gonna to take to the wedding to get some pictures so we can get them developed when we get home. I've got tons of film just in case. I've also got batteries because I don't know what the battery life is gonna be like on it. And then we also have these two speakers. I bought these in Apple. These are the Ultimate Ears, otherwise known as UE. These are the mega booms and they connect up together and you get such great sound from them. So when we don't have anything going on, we can play our playlist by the pool and stuff, which would be really good. And then this little thing's a lifesaver. This, you just put an SD card in the bottom and then you can put your photos straight on your phone, which is really, really good. So we're taking that as well. And that's pretty much it. There's a chance that I'll pack this or I might take another carry-on suitcase. That, you guys, is it. All that needs to happen is to close them. I'm not gonna do that yet, just in case. I'm gonna leave them out just like this. I've got two more days. I feel pretty packed. All my wedding stuff's in here. All my clothes, all my shoes, all my accessories. Feeling pretty organized. The only other thing that I need to pack is my lights. I'm gonna take some lights with me because if I sit down, I'm not a drama queen, right? But if I sit down in the, in the lighting's really shit, I'm gonna be quite gutted. So I'm gonna take these lights with me. These are my filming lights, but they pack down so small and you don't need to take the tripod with you. You can take the clamp. I use these to film. I have done for ages and ages. I've had these for so long, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them with me. They come with all the attachments and stuff for the EU. So that's great. So I'm gonna pack those down, but I still have to film tomorrow. So I'm not gonna take them down yet, but yeah, I'm really excited. So they'll fit in my case no problem maybe i'll take them hand luggage i don't know that's pretty much it you guys that's me packed <gasps> i feel i actually feel way more calm uh, not that I'm freaking out that much, but it feels really good to know that I've got everything off my checklist done. There's nothing really else that I can think of. If there's anything that you guys think I've missed, please let me know. And also, if there's anything that you have any questions on, um, just let me know down below and I'll, I'll help you best I can. But I hope you like this video. I'm just so excited now. I can't believe it. Jack's obviously not even started packing. He's the king of chill. Because I'm taking quite a lot of stuff for the wedding in general, I'm really glad it's all done. I've got everyone's things that they need everyone's bits. Oh, my jewellery. Oh, these are very important. These need to go in my bag. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got it all now. <laughs> so, you guys, that's it. And that's actually the last video from me. Uh, the next time you'll be getting a video, I will be a married woman. I hope you guys really liked it and I will see you really soon. Bye. I get asked loads of times. Another thing to mention is I always wear, I'm missing a nail by the way, they're getting done tomorrow. The first thing I've got, oh God, that's really close. Bleach London Recarnation, uh, Reincarnation, Re ah, <laughs> fuck's sake. I'm getting them freshly done tomorrow. No, I'm getting them done five days before I go. No, what? <laughs> My YSL tote, I absolutely love it. Look at that finger, it's literally ruining everything. We've got little, oh that's gonna really annoy me, look. Oh, can I do this with one hand? Yes, bitch. So I'm also just gonna put all, oh shit, slip silicate. Oh my God, silicase. What else can I show you in here? It's all really packed to perfection, so I really didn't want to open this. Ah! Looking very, I'm using my pinky by the way because this finger is just so ugly. Look, okay. Right, I need something. Fucking cramp. Oh. <laughs> oh.